Before this video starts, I'd like to say hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you can join the notification squad and comment down below for a chance at winning a shout out in the next video. What is going on everybody and welcome to another Minecraft command block tutorial video. I'm going to show you guys basically how to do what you see on screen right here. It shows Rose Faction. faction. Uh, now the first one is a message display. So it'll have YouTube, Daycon Black Rose, and then, you know, it'll change between different text. Uh, so I'll show you guys how to do that. Also, you can add something like top factions or richest factions or whatever you want to put right there. And then the top factions or the richest, which whoever has the most money. If you guys want to do that, uh, also bounty changes every two minutes. And if you kill somebody, you get a reward uh, if they're in the bounty tag. Uh, which is something I could go over in a different video, but that's just this is giving you an idea of what you could do to give it more of a more creative server approach. Also, the players online counts up depending on how many players are online. So if your realm has zero players, it will say zero. If your player, if your realm has like four or five players, it'll say players online, four or five, whatever. However many players are online, and that's over there. So <clears throat> I'm going to show you the first things you're going to need to do uh, to create something just like this. This is what you're going to need to do. You're going to need to create a scoreboard objective, add server, dummy, rose factions, or whatever you're calling yours, uh, something like that. And if you want to do the colors, it's something like this. Um, then you're going to need to add a uh, scoreboard players, add bounty if you want to add bounty, server, and you're going to give it an 11 score. Uh, coming over here, you're going to give uh, whatever your top factions is, it's going to be a score of 12. Um, this one over here is scoreboard players add uh, top factions if you want to do the colors that's what it looks like uh, and then server you're going to give it a tag score of 13 also this one over here is creating a scoreboard objective add online dummy so that way uh, whenever you add the online uh, now where it says rose faction guys that is a server dummy remember that it's the server dummy when we just call it rose faction so it'll display rose factions when we do side and you see right there where it just said update v2 is out uh, that's how it does the two texts on the timer there uh, now this one over here is the reason we're using that is because where it says players online uh, we're going to be doing an operation so you're going to need to create a fake players online account so you're going to do scoreboard players online like this operations players online server and the server tag equals at all players on an online so basically everybody in the game you're going to need to make a command that puts everybody in the online score so the moment someone joins the game they need to be on an online score and anybody that's in an online score you're going to give the operation for the players online server equals uh, what that does you'll need to create a machine like this and this one's going to test for all players with a C count of 10 because only 10 people can be on the uh, realm. Uh, you'll make a command or a little creation like this. Uh, all of these are the exact same. It's going to be scoreboard players added all on line one. Uh, so basically when it tests for a player, it'll give the score here. It'll give all players an online score of one. Uh, so basically when someone joins, it'll, it'll go up by one. This will tick every time someone comes in the game. So if one person comes in the game, this one will light up. And it won't light up the rest. It's only whenever a player comes in the game because this is giving another output like a pulse. This one is a sticky piston, and it's just with a redstone like this. And this one's removing an online score. So if I left the game, this would retract, and it would then take a one point from the players online. That, so it's kind of confusing, but that's how you would do it. Uh, there's 10 here. Uh, I just didn't finish the little contraption here. But uh, that's how this works right there. And uh, moving on, this is a timer, so the timer works with these. Uh, this is, I've made the video on this, I use the exact same thing, scoreboard players add millisecond timer. Uh, so all of these are right here, you're going to need to create a scoreboard player second timer. Uh, you're going to need to create a scoreboard players add milliseconds timer. This one over here is add minutes timer, and you're going to need to create a scoreboard objective timer dummy. Now I have made a video on this exact timer in the past, so you guys can check that out if you want to see that how it works and stuff uh, but basically uh, when this up here goes to four minutes it'll set scoreboard players test four minutes uh, then it'll reset the entire timer uh, but when it goes to four minutes I'm testing for one two and three uh, so at four it resets so this one is going to every time one minute happens on the first time so one minute and then once the four minutes pass it goes back to one minute uh, it's got a test for with being at one minute, so you see it says YouTube Daycon Black Rose. Uh, because it's lit up, that means it's going to set a YouTube Daycon Black Rose, like YouTube server, uh, at a score of 14. So remember you got to put it set, so that way it doesn't always keep adding. 
uh, and then it's always at the very top because 14 is the high, is the top um, unless you put 15 which you shouldn't need that but uh, this one over here is scoreboard players reset and then this one's getting rid of the update text so you're just gonna need to reverse that onto this one so at three minutes it'll uh, come over here and reset this so it deletes it off the scoreboard objective of the server uh, and then this one is going to add this one it's going to set it to the server and give it a score of 14 and then this one over here every two minutes it will then randomly select it'll reset all players that are in it and then randomly select another player with a server and give it a score of 10 now you don't want to go anything lower than 10 if you use a players online because players online go from 0 to 10 so the players online will always be below the bounty player because they're always going to be set at 10 so if you have 10 players it'll stay where it is and the number can change that's what's cool about this so that's why you want to use 14 13 12 and 11 and 10 now if you you could go to 16 20 or whatever but you just kind of want to make sure that they're organized like this and you just saw right there it went to update v2 is out now so it, it ticked out that's a cool way to do different texts and uh, like i said you can play around with this and make it where it's really cool now this is the money objective so you'll just make a new money dummy uh give players money whoever has the most amount of money you could test for whose player uh, has the most amount of money and whenever that player has the most amount of money you can make their name just like the bounty in the top factions right there at a score of 12 which is really cool like so uh, yeah, that's how you guys would do some cool stuff like this. Uh, if you guys like this and you want to maybe see this in a function or maybe a download or something so you can add some stuff like this. But this is what I'm going to be adding to the Rose Factions. So if you guys are interested in that kind of stuff, uh, let me know in the comment section below. If you guys liked the video, remember to hit the like button, subscribe if you're new and stuff. I'll see you in the next one. I'm Dake on Black Rose, and I'm out. My father told me when I was young Don't play the fire, be careful, son